Hello everybody, welcome to another Pixelmator tutorial here on Touch Plus. My name is Sebastian van der Velde and in this tutorial we are going to work with the healing tool and the clone stamp tool. Let's get started. I've opened an image with a beautiful Greek scenery here. I really love the view with the sailboat. However, I'm a bit distracted by the little boat sailing away and the landmass at the top left of the picture. With the healing tool and the clone stamp tool, we can remove the boat and the landmass from our image as if they were never there. Let's start off with the healing tool. This tool is the easiest to use. The healing tool is represented by the bandage icon in the tools palette. Let's select it and take a look at how this tool works. The healing tool uses a brush for healing. So when we click on the brush button in the tool options bar, we get to see the brush palette where we can choose our brush. Normally, you would want to use a round brush with a relatively soft edge. The diameter depends on the size of the objects we want to remove. Let's get rid of the boat by painting over it. But before we do this, let me give you a little bit of advice. If you would paint over the boat now, the healing tool will work directly on our image, which will increase the risk that if anything goes wrong, your original image might get damaged. This is especially true if you have activated the setting in the Pixelmator preferences to not open its document as a Pixelmator file. To make your edit as non-destructive as possible, you should apply the healing tool and the clone stamp tool on a separate layer. So we add a new blank layer and name it healing. And in the tool options bar, we click the gear icon and make sure that sample all layers is selected. This will make sure that the healing tool will use all layers to work from. If we wouldn't have selected sample all layers and we would have started painting on a new layer, the healing tool would have done nothing at all. Also important is to zoom in on the part you want to remove so it can be more precise. So I use Command and Plus to zoom in. Now we paint over the little boat. When we release the mouse button, Pixelmator will do its magic and tries to remove the boat and fill it with surrounding parts of the image. We have another boat coming towards the coast as well. Let's click on it as well. The healing tool is perfect for this kind of work, removing small imperfections from an image, like birds for example, or in our case small boats. When you scan old photos and see dust on your image, the healing tool will remove these dust specks easily. We also see that our boat has made waves in the water. We have to get rid of these as well. We can try to paint over these trails with the healing tool. As you see the healing tool leaves quite a bit of artifacts. The healing tool is not the perfect tool to remove large objects when the background has some sort of pattern in it. Like the waves on the water over here. We need to use another approach that will work better. Like for example the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool does about the same as the healing tool, but we have to tell Pixelmator where to clone from. So let's select the clone stamp tool over here from the tools palette. You see that the tool options palette gives us much more options now. When we click the gear icon, we of course want to activate sample all layers again, and we also want to activate use same offset for each stroke. I'll tell you how this works in a moment. The button next to the gear icon lets us activate the clone from mode. We can also just hold the option key to switch between clone source and stamp mode. We can also adjust the blending mode and the opacity of the brush. Normally you would want to keep the blending mode to normal and use an opacity of 100%. Let's start cloning. We want to clone from an area relatively close to the waves we want to remove. This is because we then get as little color difference as possible. So I hold my brush over an area close to the wave and hold the option key. Then I click to choose my clone source. Release the option key and the area inside the brush gets filled with the clone source. Now I can position my brush in such a way that the clone source fits perfectly with the rest of the surroundings. Now it's just a matter of painting over the wave. The clone source will follow, so any color changes will get cloned as well. Releasing the mouse button will keep the source at the same position for my brush. If I had deactivated Use Same Offset, and I would have continued to paint after releasing the mouse button, the source would have started there where I left it last time. 
To continue, I need to change the source position or else I will begin to clone the waves over here. So I simply place my brush over the part I want to clone and hold the Option key while clicking once. We continue this way until we have removed the waves created by the little boat. After removing all the waves with the clone stamp tool, you might still see some areas where the clone tool did a bad job. This happens often there where there has been a natural color difference, like in this area over here. To make the transition between the different colors much more smoother, we can use the healing tool and just click several times on different spots, just like this. After a while, you see that the sudden color change gets less noticeable. On to another part we want to remove from the image, the land mass over here. Let me make a selection with the paint selection tool and then use the healing tool on the selection. After making the selection we go to the edit menu where we choose refine selection. We feather the selection and increase the size a little. This will make sure that we don't get hard edges when applying the heel tool. Let's select the healing tool again and click on the gear icon in the tool options bar. Now we choose heel selection. Pixelmator thinks for a moment and comes back with a quite a bad result. As you can see the healing tool doesn't work very well here either. The reason that the healing tool does a bad job under these circumstances is the repetitive pattern of the waves in the sea. The healing tool doesn't understand this pattern. The healing tool basically looks at random at the area surrounding the selection and tries to apply that in a smart way. We can however use the selection we just made as a clone source. Let's select one of the marquee tools from the tools palette. Now I can click inside the selection and drag it downwards. Now we select our original layer and press the key combination Command plus C to copy and Command plus V to paste the selection onto a new layer. Let's place this layer on top of all other layers and deselect the selection. With the Move tool we can now move these parts upwards over the part where the landmass used to be. In our case we see that the boat from the original layer got copied. We can simply use the healing tool to remove it. Now we see that because of the feather, we have a smooth transition between the water and the horizon. Also here there might be some areas where we want a smoother transition between the area we just patched and the rest of the image. Again we can use the healing tool here in a similar way as before. You've noticed that the healing tool does a good job on removing small uncomplicated objects. The healing tool will also do a good job when surrounding parts of an object you want to remove don't have a repetitive pattern. Let's make a selection with the rectangular marquee tool around this little shed. Now we select the healing tool and choose heal selection from the gear menu. As you can see the healing tool does a perfect job removing the little shed. The motorbike over here is a bit too modern for this scene as well. Let's just paint with the healing tool over it. As you can see the healing tool does a pretty good job here as well. Let's take a look at the before and after. We've successfully removed the landmass by copying another part of the original image. We've removed two small boats with the healing tool and we've removed the wave pattern left by one of the boats with the clone stamp tool. Finally, we removed a shed and a motorcycle from the image with the healing tool. As you see, Pixelmator comes with powerful tools to remove objects from an image. And used correctly, you can get great results.